Unfortunately, those bottles are plastic. But these Cleveland fans are irate. And they're trying to clear the end zone. And now they're going to call that the game. That is the end of the game. Unbelievable. Now they call the game. Well, that was With the right 48 call. seconds to go. Yeah, you got to take the I think that. I think this has been just a fiasco by the referees today. Well, that. And these that, officials really need to get off the field. And you know what? The fans got to stop throwing crap. We just saw a guy get hit in the head and he's down, split his head wide open. The fans have got to control themselves. People are getting hurt. It's ridiculous. You're only hurting yourselves by throwing stuff on the field. And the officials are pummeled okay. as they head into the locker room. And Butch Davis is speechless. He doesn't know what to say or what to do. So an ugly scene here in Cleveland. Wild sequence of events. The officials will be criticized and scrutinized the entire week. And I don't believe we still, even at after all this, we still don't know if the ruling was accurate or not. North Quinton Jefferson into the locker room. And, and look, somebody threw something at him from the stands that it landed at. Security needs, yeah, security needs to take care of this to make sure fans should not throw things. Roethlisberger carted in, and debris was being thrown at him. Rushing, that'll be a 20-yard chip shot. Well, I don't believe that was a fake. And I don't know what you do about a snowball hitting well on the fans here at Mile High Stadium. Toss it to Hogan. Hogan gets hit inside the five by Stefan Gilmore. Some fan threw something right out on the field, too, at about the one-yard line. Yeah, initially I thought it might have been a flag, but I didn't say it because it didn't look yellow. Well, it definitely wasn't a flag. The 15-yard line. Pump face, one to the end zone, and there's a flag because Kevin Mathis was clearly holding on to hold. This is why what happened in Cleveland yesterday was such a disgrace. And this is too. Well, they have to do with the Giants did a few years ago with the snowballs. Get some video, find out where it's coming from, and either prosecute them or, or find out who has the season tickets or the tickets and just take the tickets away. Take the season seats away. You know, and the fans are trying to throw it at the officials, and in reality, they're throwing it at their own players. And now Jim Haslett will get a penalty Larry Nemers throwing the flag They're throwing all kind of stuff out in that field now the official got hit right in the head oh boy the official got hit right in the head by something oh out there. boy and he's down that is tragic that oh. is terrible there's no need for any kind of that stuff at all no room in this in this country for that kind of behavior well there's the gentleman getting up Field. Oh man! Wow! Yeah, that's what he deserves. Yeah. You come out on the field, you're lucky that this is as bad as it gets. Yeah, we get a whistle. And, well, some nudnik running downfield.
see off the helmet there of Osweiler somebody directing a laser and we've seen it a couple of other times as well and now whoa what happened here thank you it's the Burger King guy what is going on he was standing on the field he took the snap <laughs> this is incredible Fred tossed him the ball. I mean, well, the Fred... guy came running onto the field, and, 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 and when the ball was snapped and he caught it, I thought it was the ball. This calls for a little poise on the field. <laughs> Second down at five. Jeplot holds on to the football. <laughs> It'll be third down now at seven. Jeff Blunt. Even though by football rules you're not supposed to. That took three seconds. Speed of sound, what, 720? Probably 1,400 feet away. We've got both teams wisely going to the dressing rooms. Uh, we're not going to lose anybody to the lightning. An unbelievable thunderstorm. The Steelers out in front of the All-Stars, 24 to nothing. 122 remaining in the third quarter. You can hear the crash and roar of the thunder. I have no idea what we're going to do. That's the goal piece that's gone. One of the bars being carried off the field by a group of young people. One really kind of has to wonder how far we're going to go. And I don't know how in the world they'll get this game resumed. You know, they've lost most of the crowd, and uh, about the only crowd remaining is the crowd you see out on the field. If you look at the top of your screen, the stands are empty.